What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back to my best skill sets guide series. In this series, I go over the best skill sets and the best inheritance options for each and every unit. And in this video, I'm going to be covering the new Halloween units which came out a week ago and I'm also going to be covering some other old units. I've already made a lot of videos in this series and covered many units. So if you haven't seen them, then be sure to check them out. Their links are going to be in the description down below. And I also want to thank the creator of this inheritance planner tool and Kagero chart for their awesome resources. Sources. Their links are going to be in the description down below as well. So let's begin with Halloween Henry as our first unit. Alright, so here we have Halloween Henry and uh, this set is with his default tome, Spectral Tome. And this set can be run on a minus attack or a minus beat Henry. So you want to run Swap as a, as a skill because Swap is pretty good as a skill in my opinion compared to Pivot. A lot of people do like to run Pivot for armored units but in my opinion Swap provides you with a lot more options and it's a bit more versatile so that's why I prefer Swap over Pivot. And Iceberg is actually his best special even if you've got a minus res uh, Henry because even if he's minus res he's still going to be getting 16 points of additional damage and if he's not he's going to be getting 18 points of additional damage whenever he triggers that and for Slotty you have got two main options so Fury is the best option for Slotty and with Fury Henry can actually check a plus 10 merge brave lane attack plus 3 is also an option if you do not have a Fury fodder but Henry will not be able to do too many things defensively without Fury, so that's why Fury is his best slot A option. For slot B, he's got a couple of options. He can run Bow Breaker, and with Fury, he can check a plus and merge Mulagir Brave Lin. So here I have got this Henry, same Henry with Bow Breaker, and here we have got a Mulagir Brave Lin with plus attack IV, plus 10 merge, and uh, she does not kill Henry. And even after the Horse Emblem buffs, Henry does survive. So this specific set is only really good for checking Mulagir Brave Lin with Bow Breaker. And if she has got Brave Bow, then of course Henry is going to be dying. He does not have that bulk because uh, Brave Lin will be able to attack consecutively. So if you want to check the uh, Mulagir variant of Brave Lin, then you can run Bow Breaker. And you can even run Green Tomb Breaker if you want to check Green Mages like other Henrys and uh, Nino who are very, very common in Arena. So with Green Tomb Breaker, uh, he can easily check buffed mages like Nino and Henry has got a very high res so he can easily take on a fully buffed plus 10 merge Nino and once again I'll show you guys that with a calc so here we have got that Nino and let's run green tomb breaker on Henry all right so Henry does survive this kind of Nino and this Nino has got plus attack IV ground blade plus life and death three and she has got plus four buffs to all of her stats which is not really realistically possible because ai is not really that uh, intelligent to actually use buffs this way and buff a blade tome unit this optimally so even if she's fully buffed henry is able to survive and kill her so henry can be a pretty good green tome made check with green tome breaker and he can be a great utility to your team with these two skills and check the metagame threats he can also run quick repose or renewal for a slot b quick repose has got better synergy with attack plus three and renewal has got better synergy with fury and i honestly just prefer green tome breaker or bow breaker with this set for a secret seal you can run distant defense or attack smoke both have got their their own merits and this in defense lets you take on brave lin much better and pretty much all other range units and attack smoke makes him a great debuffer because attack smoke does stack up with the panic status from his tome if you guys not know so for example if he gets the panic status on a enemy who has got plus six attack buff and then he gets the attack smoke on them then they're straight up gonna be having minus 13 attack so that can be pretty insane. This set can be run with a minus attack or minus speed Henry, but the best IVs for this skill set is plus attack, minus HP. Henry can also run a standard Raven Tome set with Triangle Adept, Quick Repost, and Raven Tome. And if you want, you can even run Fury for his slot A and uh, Bow Breaker for his slot B and literally check any kind of Brave Lin if you fear Cancel Affinity as a skill. So you can run Fury over Triangle Adept. And as I will show you guys, Fury plus Bow Breaker is actually enough enough uh, to check any kind of Brave Lin. So here we have got a Brave Bolt Brave Lin with plus attack IV, Horse Emblem buffs and plus 10 merge and uh, this Fury and Bow Breaker Henry is actually able to survive her and also kill her. Make sure to run Bow Breaker with Fury because if you remove Bow Breaker then he will not be able to take this kind of max potential Brave Lin with Horse Emblem buffs and he will just die. So that's why Bow Breaker is needed with uh, 
with Fury, but if you're running Trinal Adept, then Bowbreaker is not really needed because if I remove Bowbreaker and run Quick Repose, he's still able to take on this kind of Brave Lin and kill her in one round. So with Fury, you want to run Bowbreaker and with Triangle Adept, you want to run Quick Repose. So that's a set and you definitely want to run Distant Defense so that he can take range hits much better. And Brave Lin is definitely a big nuisance in Arena, so this kind of Henry can help you with her. And this build can be run even on a minus speed or minus attack Henry, but the best IVs for this skill set is plus attack minus HP. So that's his uh, defensive Grand Raven build. Henry can also run an offensive skill set with Grand Blade Plus and uh, for his special you can run Moonbo or Iceberg. Moonbo is preferred because his special trigger cooldown is increased because of Grand Blade and Henry has got pretty good offensive stats to run an offensive set so that's why you can run this on him. For his slotty you've got three main options. You can run Darting Blow because it's really good with this kind of skill set and he reaches 40 speed with Darting Blow in the player phase which is really good and you can also run Sir Sparrow as it is the most premium option with this set and if you do not have Sir Sparrow or Darting Blow then Fury can of course be run on him and uh, you want to run Desperation for his slot B. Now usually I do not really recommend running Desperation on armored units because of their natural bulk but the thing is that Henry has got lower defense compared to other armored units so that's why Desperation is good on him and for his Sacred Seal you want to run Speed plus 3 Sacred Seal as you always want to make sure that your Blade Tome unit has got more speed so that they can double more and get more KOs. So Speed plus 3 is the recommended Sacred Seal. You can even run this on a minus attack or minus speed Henry but a minus speed Henry is gonna be a bit more troublesome compared to minus attack and the best IVs with this skill set is plus speed minus HP. So, so this was his offensive skill set and please do not run life and death on him because it will ruin his amazing res and because of his res he's able to take hits uh, from range units even with an offensive skill set and you can even run this set with his default uh, tome spectral tome but it does make more sense with an offensive tome like Grand Blade. So this was his offensive skill set and he's got a final skill set. So this set is pretty expensive because you will have to sacrifice a Takumi to him and Takumi has been on a couple of banners as of late like Threat and Speed banner and the Voting Gauntlet banner so if you've got an extra Takumi and if you really want to build Henry then you can run Close Counter on him. With Close Counter and Quick Repose he can be a really great enemy phase unit with his Owl Tome and in my opinion Close Counter is only really worth with an Owl Tome because that way Henry has a way to buff all of his stats with adjacent allies without any kind of slotty skill and especially boost his defense so Ground Owl definitely helps him with that and the best IVs for this set is plus attack minus HP and attack smoke sacred seal is really good with this set because he's able to take on multiple enemies and basically have a better longevity against multiple enemies so that's his run out skill set and Henry is a very versatile unit and you can build him whichever way you want to suit your demand as a utility, as a player phase unit, or even just as an enemy phase unit as you can see. So now let's move on to another Halloween unit and that unit is gonna be Halloween Noe. So here we have got Halloween Noe and reposition is a pretty good assist skill as it is. It does not really require any kind of change and as for a special you can run Luna or Moonbow and depending on your IVs you can also run some other specials like if you've got a plus attack Noe then you can also run Draconic Aura. Uh, she'll be able to get 15 points of additional damage and if you've got a plus res Noe then you can even run Iceberg. But if you do not have any of those IVs, then of course you can run Moonbo or Luna. And her attack rest bond actually works really well with Grimoire Tome as whenever she's going to be teleporting, she's going to be near an ally. So she will proc the skill and make use of it. And for slot B, she has got a couple of options. The first option is Sword Breaker and she can use this to check a lot of common sword units. But she will definitely have trouble versus the distant counter red units because they could just kill her on the counter attack. So that's why in my opinion, Escape Route is a better skill on her slot B compared to Sword Breaker and Escape Route is a great option for her because if she's not out of her Grim War range then she enters the Escape Route range so basically she can ensure that she will always teleport and use her attack res bond skill. Renewal is also another skill which you can run to help her stay in the Grim War range but in my opinion Escape Route is just really really good. Desperation is also a skill which you can run on her only if she's plus speed and if you're gonna be using her on a Flyer Emblem team and the reason for it is because on a flyer emblem team because she can hit 41 speed with Hone flyers buffs and 39 speed with gold flyers buff 
it's actually pretty decent to use Desperation. So, Desperation has got a very specific use on a plus B Novi. If you do not have a plus B Novi, then of course, like I said, Escape Route is a really good option. Guidance Sacred Seal is honestly so incredible on Novi because of her Grimvar Tome. And because of it, it gives your infantry and armored allies so much more movement. But if you're running her on a Flyer Emblem team, then Guidance is not really needed. And you can run Attack plus 3 Sacred Seal to increase her nuking potential. This set can be run on any kind of Novi, be it minus attack or minus speed. However, the best IVs with this skill set is plus attack, minus defense, so that she can nuke a lot of stuff with the help of attack res bond, slot a skill. A standard blade tome set can also be run on her for a flyer emblem team. Moonbow is her special and it's pretty good because her cooldown is gonna get increased due to the blade tome. And for slot A, her best options are life and death and swift sparrow. Even if you do not have life and death 3, then even life and death 2 will suffice. Darting blow is also a valid option option but it's not really as good as life and death 3 or even life and death too so try to run life and death on her and she's gonna be running desperation with this set and if you want you can always replace reposition with ardent sacrifice if you want to get her into the desperation range easily but reposition still works fine and you want to run speed plus three sacred seal as the most underwhelming thing about her is her speed stat so especially with a blade tome set you want to have as much speed as you possibly can so that's why speed plus three sacred seal is really good and the best ivs for this set is plus speed minus defense so those those were her skill sets. Now let's move on to Halloween Jacob. Alright, so here we have got Jacob. And Jacob has got three main sets. I'll begin with the one which uses Monstrous Bow, his default bow. So Swap is obviously a good choice for an armored unit, as I've explained before. And Ignis is his default special, which can be used, but I think that Bonfire is a bit better if you can run that because uh, he will not get doubled or double anyone because of very fighter skills so lower cooldown special is better for him but if you cannot run bonfire if you do not have really have any kind of bonfire fodder then i guess ignis will do and for slotty you've got a couple of options attack plus three is actually a pretty nice budget option and this is what i'm running on my own halloween jacob and distant defense is also an option and makes him extremely bulky and the final option is close counter and honestly close counter is his best slot a skill with a monstrous bow set but of course close counter and distant defense are both very premium options so if you do not have them then you can just run attack plus three very fighter should always be run for his slot b and for slot c it is pretty flexible you can run something like threaten attack so that he can take even less damage and stay in his uh very fighter range and for his sacred seal attack ploy is really good and helps him with his longevity and distant defense is also a really good sacred seal for him as well and attack smoke like i mentioned with henry does work with monstrous bow and uh, it does stack up with that so these three sacred seal options are there for him and this set can be run with a minus attack jacob but uh, the best ivs for this skill set is plus attack minus speed and in general this is the best IV spread for any kind of Jacob because he does not need his uh, speed stat at all because of very fighter skill and Jacob can be a pretty nice mage tank with this set Jacob also has a brave bow set with death blow and he can make amazing use of his high attack stat so you can actually run Igneous as a special because he's actually going to be attacking twice so you can use Igneous to nuke someone like a raven tome unit and uh, you of course want to run very fighter skill slot c is pretty flexible but something like threaten defense or defense ploy um from a four star arbus can definitely work for him and for his secret seal you want to run attack plus three so that he can increase his nuking potential or you could run quick and pulse secret seal with ignis so that's his brave bow set and his last set is actually extremely expensive it's a sling bow set with close counter and quick repost so Jacob can be a terrifying enemy phase unit with this set and the thing is that he has got high enough attack so he can actually do a lot of work unlike someone like Sheena who has got similar bulk to him but does not have very high attack stat. So he can get a lot of chaos in the enemy phase. Ignis works really well as he's going to be running quick repose so he will not have too much trouble charging this up as he will get doubled by pretty much everyone and for slots you can of course run threat and attack once again to stay in the range of quick repose and for a secret seal you can run attack ploy attack smoke or distant defense all of those options are really good and uh, you can run this with any kind of jacob as long as he's not minus attack or minus defense and the best ivs for this skill set is once again plus attack 
minus speed. His speed is still pretty irrelevant even uh, when we have removed Very Fighter because he's still gonna get doubled by pretty much everyone. So those were his skill sets. Now let's move on to the final Halloween unit and uh, that is gonna be Cat Sakura or Halloween Sakura. So Halloween Sakura already comes with great default kit so all you need to do is slap reposition or drop back as a resist skill and you'll be good to go. You'll be absolutely good to go. However, if you want to invest into her a bit more and you don't really care about Quick Impulse Moonbow Reinhardt, then you can replace uh, Garg with something like Vantage or Cancel Affinity. Now, Vantage is better in the hands of a human player because you'll be able to take on multiple mages and Raven Tombs are not really that common in Arena. And Cancel Affinity is better if you're gonna be running her on your uh, arena defense team because cancel affinity is pretty annoying to the players who are using raven tome mages to check brave lin so cancel affinity can help you with that so if you're just going to be using her uh, for arena offense then vantage works and fury can also be run on her instead of warding stance and fury gives her more attack and speed and fury has got amazing synergy with vantage so you can always run that and Iceberg can also be run as a special because of its lower cooldown. But if you have got a minus attack Sakura, then of course Glacis does work out to help her with her damage output. For her slot C, she can always inherit defense ploy from a 4 star Arvis. And right here it shows wrong. It's actually available on a 4 star Arvis. So defense ploy helps her a lot because of her top tier res and she's able to do more damage to units who are not mages because of defense ploy. And this can be run with any kind of... Uh, Sakura who's minus attack or even minus speed but of course uh, if you have got a minus attack or minus speed you might not want to invest into her too much and just roll with her default skill set. For her sacred seal you can run attack ploy or distant defense both of those are pretty good options. The best IVs for this skill set is plus attack minus defense but like I said this can be run on any kind of Sakura. So Sakura actually has got a pretty good offensive stat spread to run poison dagger but it's really high investment so you can run Poison Dagger Plus from a 5 star Kagero if you happen to get a minus attack or minus speed Kagero and you can run drawback or reposition as her assist skill. Iceberg and Glacis can be her special and Fury and Vantage is a good combo and please do not run life and death on her because it will completely ruin her bulk and uh, you can also run defense ploy. Because Poison Dagger has got lower might compared to her default weapon Kitty Paddle, you want to run attack plus 3 because she'll be able to do more damage when she's in the vantage range so that can be pretty good. Having plus attack IV is really really nice with this skill set and minus defense is her best bane. So those were her skill sets and we're done with the Halloween units. Now let's move on to some of the older units. Ursula recently had a Grand Giro Battle rerun so that's why I'm including her in this video and Ursula is usually known for her Blade Tome set on a Horse Emblem team but she can also run this pretty nice budget set for the people who want to use her with her default Wolf Tome. So for her assist skill you can run drawback or reposition and Iceberg is a fantastic special for her giving her 15 points of additional damage whenever she procs that. You can keep Deathblow as her slot A skill and for slot B she's got a couple of options such as Escape Route and uh, Sword Breaker. With Sword Breaker she can actually take hits from some of the most popular distant counter red units and she can even live a hit from a plus and merge Rima when she initiates an attack on him and then proceed to kill him and I'll show you guys that with a calc. So here we have got that Ursula with Wolf Tome, Iceberg, Deathblow and Sword Breaker. And here we have got a Fury Vantage Ryama with plus attack IV with plus 10 merge and uh, Ursula is initiating an attack on him. And as you can see, Ryama is actually gonna be dying and Ursula lives ahead from Ryama. It does 29 damage. So Ursula can be used to check some of the most common sword units and Wings of Mercy is also another choice and for slot C we're going to be keeping her skill and you want to run Deflect Magic Sacred Seal definitely with this set because with it you'll be able to check a plus 10 merged Quick Impulse Moonbow Reinhardt as long as he does not have any kind of Horse Emblem buffs. So here we have got that Ursula once again with Deflect Magic and here we have got this Reinhardt with plus attack IV, death blow, Moonbow, plus 10 merge. And he's got Quick Impulse Moonbow, so his special trigger cooldown is at 1. And Ursula is actually able to uh, take hits from this Reinhardt in the enemy phase. 24 damage and then 7 damage. And then retaliate back with her Wolf Tome and then just kill him. So make sure that he does not have Harsimum buffs, otherwise Ursula will not be able to take him out. But as long as he does not have Harsimum buffs, then Ursula can just take on any kind of Reinhardt. 
so that can be run on her and this is a pretty nice budget set to be honest. Escape route is also good as her slot B skill because after she has taken a hit from Reinhardt, she would be really low on HP and seeing as how Reinhardt is just so common in arena, you will be able to use escape route quite a lot after you have baited Reinhardt. So you can choose between the mobility from escape route or if you want to check sword units with sword breaker and if you want to invest into her a bit more you can run fury instead of uh, death blow so that she can get more speed. So that was the set with her wolf tome and her most popular set is right here with a blade tome. So you want to run art and sacrifice so you can get into the desperation range and you want to run moonbow instead of iceberg because we're going to be running life and death. And you can even run Fury if you want to, but Life and Death just provides you with more offensive power. And her main role on a Hearts Emblem team is to destroy stuff after getting the Hone Cavalry buff. And with the power of Life and Death, she's able to do that a lot better compared to Fury. So she works best on a Hearts Emblem team with this set. And for her secret seal, you want to run speed plus 3 so that she can double pretty much everyone after getting the Hone Cavalry buff. And a normal Blair Blade from a 3 star or a 4 star Odin can also work. The difference between these two weapons are pretty marginal and they still function as the same so if you're not able to spend 20,000 feathers on Black Blade Plus and if you do not have an extra tail 2 then of course you can run Black Blade from a 3 star Odin. So this is her skill set with a Blade Tome. So those were her skill sets and she's a good free to play unit and now let's move on to the Power Creep Goddess aka Ira. Ira is definitely one of those units in the game who is just so good despite her IVs and IVs do not really matter for her and the first set can be run with any kind of IV Ira but if you happen to have two bad Banes Ira then I would say that minus speed is a lot worse compared to minus attack in my opinion. Her default skills are pretty good so all you need to do is go with reposition as her assist skill and slot C skill can be something like threat and defense. She does not really need to run art and sacrifice because of her natural bulk. She does not really have too much trouble getting into her desperation range is what I'm saying. She can get into her desperation range without dying most of the time because of her high speed and uh, even if you've got a minus speed Ira you should stick with this set because uh, there's really no reason to change the Sparrow to anything on an offensive skill set for her because it just works so good and for her secret seal you can run speed plus 3 so that uh, she can proc the effect of her skill more and double pretty much everyone. And if you've got a minus speed Ira, then I guess you can run Phantom Speed Sacred Seal because it does work with her blade. It does not work with her special, but it definitely works with her blade. But in my opinion, Speed Plus 3 is still the better skill because it actually helps her double. Phantom Speed does not help you double, so that can be run with her Sacred Seal. And the best IVs for her offensive player face set is uh, Plus Speed, Minus, Res. She also has an enemy phase skill set with distant defense as uh, her dancing blade skill in her weapon does work in the enemy phase as well so that is pretty good and you want to run vantage on her slot B and she can be a very terrifying unit with this skill set. Regnal Astra is pretty good for consistent amount of damage every turn because anytime she's gonna get attacked in the enemy phase she's gonna charge up her Regnal Astra because of her high speed and then she's gonna immediately retaliate back with her special and if you want to get more arena points then you can even run Aether on her and you want to run speed plus 3 as her sacred seal so that she can double pretty much everyone because she's not gonna be running any kind of slotty skill to increase her speed and you can even run distant defense if you want to take range it's better but in my opinion speed plus 3 is just a slightly better option for her. The best IVs for this skill set is plus speed minus defense or minus HP and uh, her res is very valuable on this encounter set so that's why minus HP and minus defense are the better banes for her because her res is too low as it is so we cannot really have minus res. So those were her skill sets now let's move on to the 7th unit for this video and that's gonna be Deidra. Deidra is a solid enemy phase unit and this set can be run on any kind of Deidra and this is her most popular set. So first of all you want to get rid of Ardent Sacrifice and have something like Drawback or Reposition and you can even run something like a dual rally skill um, from Roderick or from Oscar for getting more arena points. But if you do not have those, then you can always run a skill like Drawback. And Iceberg is their best special. Even if you've got a minus res Deidra, then still 
uh, Iceberg is a better special for her. And you want to keep her quick repost and speed ploy. Quick repost is really solid for a mage tank like her and she does not really need green tone breaker to check Nino because she can ignore buffs due to divine naga so quick repost is fine and for slotty you've got a couple of options the best one is fury in my opinion and i know fury does conflict with quick repost but it conflicts with quick repost 2 much more than the version 3 and deidre has got version 3 by default so it's not really too bad as fury helps her a lot then it hurts her. After Fury, she reaches 38 res, which is just incredible. And if you run distant defense, sacred seal on her, then she's not gonna be taking any kind of damage from the mages. So it's not gonna be that hard to stay in the quicker post range for more than one turn. And the power and speed she gets from Fury is just really, really good. Hitting 31 speed is just so nice with speed ploy. And still, if you think that Fury and Quick Repose do not work together, and if you do not have Fury fodder, then you can always run Attack Plus 3. It's a pretty nice budget option, and this is something which I've went with myself. And she can reach 50 attack, which is good. And just in defense, Slotty skill is also another option if you want to make her the ultimate res tank and provides her with the bulk without conflicting with quick repost. And for her sacred seal, of course, you can run just in defense or you could run attack ploy and pretty much debuff a lot of enemies as uh, she is going to be debuffing a lot of enemies as a test with speed ploy and because of her high res so attack ploy can definitely work on her but attack ploy also works for your other allies and as i've said before this set can work with any kind of iv Deidre but the best ivs for this set is plus speed minus defense plus speed is just amazing with speed ploy and she can just not get doubled by too many units and stay much healthy with that and after speed ploy debuff she can actually double a lot of units so that's why plus speed iv is her best boon and minus defense works out because her defense is low as it is she's not supposed to take hits on the physical side for the most part so that's why minus defense is pretty nice and that's her skill set and now let's move on to the next unit and that unit is gonna be tail 2 Tail 2 is a great blade tome mage and she's available at 4 star rarity so a lot of free to play players might want to invest into her. Her best set is a standard blade tome set and you could keep her dual rally skill for arena points or if you've got her with uh, plus HP IV or if she's merged but Arden Sacrifice will help her get into the desperation range much easily and due to the nature of blade tome on how it increases your special trigger cooldown you want to run moonbow for slotty you can keep her default skill but it's honestly not as good offensively as other skills so you can run fury on slot a and with fury and deflect magic sacred seal you could actually check a plus 10 merge reinhardt with tail t while nuking stuff with her blade tome so that is pretty good as she's able to do multiple rolls and that's the magic of my deflect magic secret seal no pun intended that even blue mages are able to check reinhardt so as you can see by this calc we've got a plus 10 uh, merge reinhardt with plus attack iv moonbow death blow and quick and pulse so his uh, special trigger cooldown is at one and here we have got a tail two with fury and deflect magic and as you can see tail two can survive against this kind of reinhardt in the enemy phase and then proceed to just kill him off so she can do multiple rolls which is pretty nice and uh, life and death 3 is actually her best uh, slotty option offensively even if you do not have a life and death 3 fodder you can run life and death 2 and with life and death you'll be able to do more stuff offensively but obviously you're not going to be able to check reinhardt so it's up to you if you want to check reinhardt or not and for her slot b you of course want to run desperation and drive speed is just really good for her slot c skill so if you're running fury of course you want to run deflect magic but if you're running life and death then go with speed plus three sacred seal or quick and pulse uh sacred seal so that she can have a moon bow at two turn cooldown so that was her best skill set and you can run this with any kind of iv tail too like minus attack or minus speed but in my opinion minus speed is a lot worse however the best ivs for this skill set is plus speed minus defense so that was their best skill set now let's move on to the holy knight himself his default kit is just so good that all you need to do is run reposition as his assist skill and replace miracle with an offensive special like bonfire and yes bonfire is his best special and it's his element after all but all jokes aside even if he's minus defense bonfire can work unless you've got a very specific IV on him like plus attack minus defense then in that case Draconic Aura is better compared to Bonfire 
but if you do not have those kinds of IVs, then of course you can run Bonfire. And Forest Sacred Seal Attack Smoke is just incredible because uh, it does work with Speed Smoke and you're able to debuff two stats of your enemies and that is so good. And you can even run Distant Defense Sacred Seal so that he can take on mages much better. Those two options are pretty good on him. All of his stats are really important and in my opinion, plus speed, minus defense is his best IV spread. Plus speed increases his longevity because he will not get doubled by too many units and he does not want to lose any kind of res or HP so that he can take magical hits. So that's why minus defense Bane does work. He can also run Distant Counter, but I would only recommend Distant Counter if you have got a plus speed IV on him because on a horse emblem team with plus speed IV, he's able to reach 41 speed which is really good and uh, you do not have to worry too much about Distant Counter and Crusader's Ward conflicting there because he will not get doubled by any of the enemy units after the Hone Cavalry buff and being able to take only 50% damage from a mage and then retaliating back with a powerful hit is just too good. And if you're using him on a Heart Emblem team, then of course you can run Hone Cavalry instead of uh, instead of Speed Smoke or even Fortify Cavalry if you want to. And with this set, he can devour a plus 10 merge Heart Emblem Reinhardt. So here we have got that Reinhardt with plus attack IV, Death Blow, Moonbow, plus 10 merge, Quicken Pulse, and uh, Heart Emblem buffs. And here we have got a plus speed IV on him and uh, Distant Counter and Bonfire. And he also has got Hone Cavalry buff. So he hits 41 speed. And as you can see, Reinhardt is actually gonna be dying. So uh, Reinhardt is not able to kill him in the enemy phase. And then he can proc Bonfire and then just kill Reinhardt. Make sure to have Hone Cavalry buff on him. Otherwise, he will not be able to kill Reinhardt with Bonfire. As you can see, without Hone Cavalry buff, Reinhardt barely lives with 5 HP. So, um,. Uh, if he gets Hone Cavalry buff, then he's able to one round kill this kind of Reinhardt, which is just incredible. So this encounter has got a lot of usage in the enemy phase and he can get a lot of things done in the enemy phase. So it's a really good option if you were lucky enough to get a plus speed IV on him. And now let's move on to the final unit for this video and it's a free to play unit and she had a Grand Hero Battle rerun in September, I think. So she can run a budget set with her Wolf Tome and you want to run Reposition or Drawback as her assist skill. And for Slotty, you can run Fury. Um, and if you do not have Fury, then you can even run Attack plus 3. And Death Blow is also an option if you want to do more stuff in the player phase. But overall, like Fury is much better because it also gives her more bulk in the enemy phase. And that's pretty nice. And Blue Tome Breaker is good for taking on threats like Delthea, Lind, and Flyer Emblem, Summer Corrin. And for Slotsy, you want to run Threaten Res. Uh, she does not have very high attack, so this can definitely help her with her damage output. And for her Sacred Seal, you always want to run Deflect Magic. It's really important because with this, she can check a plus 10 merge Reinhardt with Horse Emblem buffs pretty easily and just devour him. So here are the calcs. We have got that same Reinhardt with plus 10 merge, plus attack, death blow, all the good stuff. And we have got uh, Female Robin with Fury and Deflect Magic 3. And as you can see, uh, female Robin is actually able to take him on in the enemy face and then just easily just kill him. So that's why she can be a good budget Reinhardt check with this set. And she also has another set which is a standard Raven Tome set with Triangle Depth and Bow Breaker. And with this set she's easily able to check a plus 10 merge Reinhardt and a plus 10 merge Brave Lynn. Bow Breaker is necessary so that Brave Lynn does not quad attack her with Brave Bow and kill her with her Draconic Aura. And that's why you need to run Bow Breaker to prevent that. And uh, you want to run Distant Defense Secret Seal so that you can take on their attacks much better. And honestly, Female Robin is a great free to play unit because of her qualities of being a check to two of the most dominant forces in this current meta game. And that is pretty much gonna be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like, it helps me a lot. And subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes guides like these and much more content. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.